Moses. <laughs> when the Cox family of Salina, yeah. Kansas, ripped out their Bermuda grass and replaced it with this, they committed one of the cardinal sins of suburbia. I thought, what in the world are they doing to the yard? What? <laughs> that was my initial thought. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not in your front yard. Not in your front yard. But here in drought-ridden prairie country, the Coxes say their curious front yard stocked with native plants saves money on the water bill. Plus, it's so much more interesting. I think a front lawn is, you know, actually just boring as far as I'm concerned. Wasted space. That's what architect Fritz Haig considers most American front yards. He's started converting lawns, like the Cox families, into what he calls edible estates. So we have about 10 different kinds of thyme here. Environmentally friendly landscapes overflowing with vegetables and indigenous plants. The lawn has become an icon of the American dream, but there's a really dark underside to that. We pour water on it, we pour chemicals on it, we mow it, pollutes the air, and then it's not even a space that we occupy. Actually, the American front lawn isn't even American. It's British. Wealthy Americans, like the Rockefellers, adopted it in the late 1800s. And in the 1950s, so did the rest of the country. Just one problem. In England, constant drizzle keeps the lawns green. Here, it's sprinkler systems and fertilizer. In the planned community of Lakewood, California, the Foti family's edible estate sticks out like a sore green thumb. The vast majority of the neighborhood really does seem to, to get a real kick out of it. Haig has plans to build edible estate prototypes in every area of the country. His dream that what is now an oddity will one day be unremarkable. Nancy Weiner, ABC News, New York.